Okay. <laughs> okay. <sighs> I get so nervous just before I do this. I've got an eye twitch and everything. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome back. Uh, this week's book is called The First 15 Lives of Harry August, and it's by Claire North. Wonderful. Okay? It's just... Um, so I know, oh, every time, my videos are becoming very repetitive, but I just want to let you know that this book, it's next level. <laughs> the first 15 and a half lives. <laughs> so I once read a book called The 13 and a Half Lives of Captain Blue Bear. And that title has been amazing and it stayed in my head forever. And now I've just read a book called The First 15 Lives of Harry August and I keep calling it the other name. But this book, The First 15 Lives of Harry August, is amazing and Claire North has just done a wonderful, wonderful job. So it's the most epic of love stories spanning centuries and it, it depicts absolutely no sexual tension and no romance between our two main characters. The love is epic, way more epic than that of mortal mortality and it's the story of friendship really and loyalty and betrayal and trust and deception and time. Above all this story is a love affair with time and how time works and the universe and it's just it's got some really, really cool science in it. Some fantastic musings about philosophy and the world around us and the whole universe and how everything works. And that's just one of my favorite things ever. And this book just tackles some moral issues and philosophy problems that are just really cool. And it deals with time in a way that I haven't really read before. Basically, it follows the story of our main guy, Harry August. It tells of how he is born and how he lives and then he dies but he's born again and again and again and it kind of follows his time in a mashed up kind of way for the first 15 lives so that's hundreds and hundreds of years right that's like it's a really long time depending give or take on how long he lives each time the storyline evidently sometimes can be a little bit slow because we're dealing with time here, like a lot of time. That just adds to the magnitude of the story, like it just really complements the, the way that the book is structured. That bore relevance to the nature of the story itself and I just absolutely love the formatting of this book. I just think it's like borderline miraculous. It's amazing. I have so much love for Claire Webb right now. Uh, sorry, Claire North right now. I found myself immensely drawn to the writing. It's just so incredibly well put together, I think. I think it's probably the best book overall. Like, everything about it complements the, the actual story. And I think that is just such a great thing to have where everything about this story lends itself to the story. Like, the way it's written, the way it's told, the analogies used, everything just ties in so wonderfully. So it has a very strange set of characters in it and I found myself unwantingly warming to them. I found myself liking these characters who really I wouldn't have liked had they been in any other story probably, but the way that it's written and the way you get to know these characters so completely made it almost impossible for you to not like them. Like, I, I was reading this book going, that's a horrible thing, I don't like this person anymore. And then I was like, well actually, I kind of still enjoy this person, like this is still a pretty enjoyable person to be reading about. And that was a really interesting thing and so clever, I just can't get over the cleverness of this book. So it gives such a fantastic insight to morality and to time and to the universe and that's one of my favourite things in any book and this book just does it flawlessly. And the soul searching that we all go through is amplified in this book. It kind of gives the conclusion that that is, it just is. Is that spoilers? That's not spoilers. Is that spoilers? I'll leave it out, just in case. So it's so much more intricate than that kind of casual explanation I gave you earlier about just following the lives of this Harry guy. It's got so much to it and so much time in it. It's, it's quite fantastic. The only flaw that I would really kind of warn you about is that there is some violent descriptions of torture in here, which is quite horrific. And the psychology of it all was very... Uh, affronting and 
kind of harsh <laughs> to say the least but I got through it and it was totally totally worth it so yeah that's just a little warning there about that I really enjoy the camaraderie in this book between the reader and the author I just thought that was great or the reader and the main character really it's just it's really cleverly done so this book is definitely a recommendation from me I think that Claire North has just done an amazing job and even though that's a pen name I'm gonna call you by it anyway because she wants to hide her true origins. Read this book. Please read this book and talk to me about it. It's just so wonderful. I think that you will enjoy it. Even if, like, while you're reading it, you might be like, oh god, what has fan gotten me into now? But then, once you finish, you'll just be like, oh yeah, wow. Whoa, yeah, that was, yeah, wow. <laughs> Well, that's what happened to me, anyway. So, thank you so much, Nom, for recommending it to me. I'm eternally grateful. I think it's one of those storylines whose base concepts will stay with you for a very long time. Um, it's a concept of immortality and time travel that happens in a way that is different. Yes, anyway, that was that. I've been talking for a long time. I tend to gush about things that I enjoyed a lot and I'm gushing about this one, so I really, really recommend it. Uh, go and pick it up. This is up there with one of the best books I've read this year. Thank you so much for watching everyone. I'll see you all hopefully on Friday for another book review. Um, happy December! How do you turn this thing off? I'm going to put it on the shelf. Um, do you reckon that'll stay there?